Hey guys, and welcome back to The Thing. When we last left off, things were going okay. Uh, you know, apart from all of our friends were dying. That was a little bit awkward. Some of it was down to, you know, incompetence on our part. But let's not, uh, let's not worry about too many of those details. Anyway, we've got some, uh, some serious business to get done. Come on, you little... Little squirt. Let's get rid of you. So you can hear just beyond that door, there's uh, something that is a little bit, a uh, little bit grumpy. Yeah, look at that. Now we don't know what this thing is, but it looks like it's some kind of experiment. So there's the winch power. Let's get the winch powered back up, shall we? And then we are going to have to learn to deal with this guy. And the main way we're going to deal with this guy is large quantities of shotgun. Now, I don't know if I'd go as far as calling this guy a boss. Maybe he's a boss, but... Oh, dear. He's not quite as gnarly as bosses that we've had to deal with prior. Now, you can see we've got a little bit of a problem here. How do we now fry his ass? Well, we can try using some fire. But as you can see, that's not very effective, is it? So, we've got to use some flame grenades. Now, these are a little bit more tactical to use. we we'll go throw one in, run like a mofo, and cook his ass. But, uh, yeah, this guy's a little bit durable, so one... Unfortunately, ain't going to cut it, Chief. He's going to take a few. But that's okay, because we're going to be giving him a few. Winch power. Right. We are kind of in the blast zone there. Yep, that was less than fantastic, wasn't it? This puts us in a really bad situation with health. Yeah, that's, that's not fantastic. As you can see, that grenade... Right, he's dead. Yeah, that grenade actually hurt us through all the obstacles, which... Ah! We probably could have zapped him with some of that as well, to be honest. I never noticed that button before. Oh well, maybe we could have done that a lot better, but what's done is done. And we're kind of screwed with how much health we have now, but... <sighs> there we go. That's how it goes. I don't think there's any goodies in here that we can grab. We will go get our friend. Now, we're going to need a lot of help for the next part of the game. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, we'll, we'll be fine, maybe. <laughs> I'm sure. All right. All right, you can come with me now, friendo. Yes, sir. And you can come and join the chaos. And hopefully, we're not going to die too badly. So we've got a switch there. We have a questionable thing going on there. Well, Byron has a container. Curious. Let's go hit this switch. Well, we know where that is, roughly. Yep, the whole place is going to blow. That's a little bit awkward now, isn't it? Right, let's start uh, getting a move on, shall we? <sighs> Hopefully, we all make it. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, let's get the frick out of here. Without dying too horribly. Now, hopefully my friend over there is going to survive. We're going to find out. Live, my friend, live. No, no, no. <laughs> I think we got a couple of his giblets in the lift. That's fine. We shall honor his memory. But we are back outside. And I, for one, am happy about this. However, we're in dire straits with our health situation. It's really not good. 
at all. In fact, this, guys, is going to be incredibly rough. And we, yeah, we don't have a sniper rifle. Sniper rifle would have made this bit kind of less stressful. But, yeah, we, 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 uh, we don't have that. So there's a goon in there. And obviously, we're on the clock here. Because our meter is constantly running down. But that's okay. Let's see if we can't just... Right, he's chunks. Come on, buddy. Come on, take your medicine. There we go. We don't have too much time to piss around. Oof, this is rough. Like, you know, they give you a boss, um, but they don't really give you anything... Uh, after the boss. Jolly and decent of them, really, when you think about it. But that's unfortunately what we're dealing with. Unless we can find... Ooh, some supplies here. Yeah, okay, okay. Well, it's better than nothing, I suppose. It's given us enough health just to kind of limp along for now. Yeah, this game... It's kind of rough. I'm not going to... I'm not going to deny that. I can't remember what was around this way, actually. I thought there was a way that we could sprint, but yeah, maybe not. All right, let's get our torch back out. Oh, right, yeah. I never went that way before. Uh, there's a reason for it. There's nothing there, I guess. So we're just going to have to make do with what little equipment and stuff that we have. That's fine. Oof. Now that is locked up, so that gives us one way to go. And we've got goons. Oh, hi guys. Hello. This is going to be bad. Yep, this is definitely going to get worse before it gets better. Now, the good news is we now have a flamethrower. The bad news is all of that lovely health that we had is non-existent. Oh, boy. Sons of bitches. Right, this is going to get delicate. Very delicate. So he was playing with that switch over there. That door's locked. Of course, it's locks. And this place looks gribbly. Ooh. Shot him in a cock. Oh, well, that's great. The door just shut over us. <laughs> yeah, that's not going to impact us at all, is it? It's fine. Uh, ooh, medicate over there, I think. And that is something we need right now. Yeah, that is a medkit. Oof. Sweet, merciful Jesus strikes again. Because trust me, this 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 place is this place is delicate. Yep. Why do I have to be? Uh, you know, I wish these doors would stay open. Ooh, headshot. Headshots are quite efficient, to be honest with you. But. They're somewhat tricky to get. All right. I think we're safe for five seconds. Demolition staff announcement. For excavation purposes, we have a stock of C4 chargers in the armory below. Please obtain a pass from your superior prior to checking out any explosives. Any person found carrying explosives without correct um, paperwork will be detained. We know what we, they do in this place when you get detained. They don't throw a party in your honour, that's what I will say. Right. Ooh. Yeah, I guess we'll have some adrenaline. That adrenaline mechanic hasn't really been used that much. And it looks like they're going to be exporting a lot of these corpses. That doesn't seem to be a fantastic plan to me. Ooh. Let's handle him. 
And we don't want any more guys running around with flamethrowers if we can help it. Right, so looks like we're going to need an engineer. Okay, well, we've only really got one option. Eat shit and die. Ooh. Sound the alarm. Oh, right. There's a hell of a battle going on down there. Yeah, this this is quite nasty in here. We have a couple of goons trying to handle one of those guys. Now those guys, well, he's actually out of health, which is good. So if he's out of health, we're going to hold on to this flamer. And if he comes our way, we're going to deal with him. Hopefully, he will finish those guys off. Fingers crossed. Oh, dear. Not good. Not good at all. Yeah, those flamethrower guys. We're not friends, by the way. Just in case you're curious. Did they handle him? No. Okay. See, when I was playing this before, uh, the actual thing one in that situation, which is interesting. Ooh. Definitely don't want any gob from those landing in my eyes, if it's quite all right with you. Oh, really? How many? How many? Go on. One. That thing had one med kit in it. Yeah, not impressed, game, to be honest. Not impressed at all. All right, well, there's nothing we can do about it. So I'm guessing we've got another locked door there. Cool, no worries. We're just going to keep pressing forwards. Was there anything? No. What we need to do, we need to kind of hold on to that med kit as well, if we can, because we might need it. Oh, there we go. Oof. I'm pretty sure this is like an auto shotgun. And it's actually way better than you'd think. All right. Especially at range. Ooh, sn sniper ammo. Come on. We don't have a sniper rifle still. I don't know why, but I guess we've missed it somewhere. Now, where are we going? Cool. Let's poke our heads around the door. Not much happening here. Ooh. Okay, well, we're going to let those guys do their stuff. Oh. Okay. <laughs> that was sketchy as fuck. You from that bogus research team Whitley sent in? Jesus. Uh, yeah. And your ass says thanks for being saved. Sorry. Thanks for the rescue. Those troopers are everywhere. You the reason they're here? Maybe. But they're taking that cargo awfully seriously. Who's the cargo for? I don't know, but it sure ain't the Red Cross. If Whitley's behind this, that cargo's got to be destroyed. Yeah, um, I didn't realize those guys were going to attack him. This is why we really needed to keep that med kit. Where's your weapon? Well, you just want everything, don't you? You're not going to repair that for us either, are you? Uh, yeah, actually, you have a full trust. Cool. Dude. Dude. I hate it when this doesn't work. Nope. 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 I couldn't do it. Nope. No, you couldn't do it. Um, I want... Yes, oh, God fucking damn it. Right. It's almost like when sometimes when you, you tap these menu options, um, it actually double pushes the button, which is really bloody annoying. It actually does tell you where they are there. 
holding area access and save terminal. Right, let's get the save terminal up and running. Yeah, if you could do that this week, that'd be cool. I'll settle for this month, to be honest. You know, it's right in front of you, mate. All you gotta do is walk around the, uh, the, the, yeah, that's, you couldn't do it, mate. Uh, how did you become an engineer? Okay. Like, it's not that hard, honestly. Jesus Christ. This is the, the quality of the men that we're working with. Not impressed. Gonna be honest. Really not impressed. Now, I need to start deleting some of these because it's getting really confusing when I go to load my save because it just seems to drop these in any order. It's not like, you know, the, the freshest saves are at the top or anything like that. No, they, they get scrambled for some reason. Anyway, so we're in the laboratory. I need to remember that. Okay, so. Cold room access. Well... I don't think there's a lot we can do with the cold room, but if you could, you know what, before we start messing with that, you f follow me and I am going to give you, you know, what? you can have that. I'm going to hold on to my shotgun for now and let's go back and check the, the holding cell area. Ooh, he had a shotgun. That would have been bad news. Yeah, I'm a little bit hazy with this mission because I haven't actually tested it as much as I would have liked, I'll be honest. So I can't remember if we're going back. Yeah, I think we're going back now. Cool. Not sure if there's... Yeah, 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 we're going back. Now, hopefully, we can find a medic. If we can find a medic, we're in business. And there's got to be one here somewhere. Area it, looks secure. Yeah, it does look secure, friend. Yeah, those medical boxes, man. God damn it. You know, you would have thought that they would hold more than one medkit in there. Especially when you open the medkit box um, and you can see more medkits in there. But, you know, we don't make the rules, I guess. All right, this area looks fine. We can pick that up now. Cool. Right, you, dude, go and repair that. All right. Do I have to? Yeah, I think it's just easier to do that. All right. Right, come on, buddy. You can do it. I believe in you. Many wouldn't, but I do. Good stuff. Oof. Well, how did that happen? Yeah, you may do. I mean, <laughs> pull yourself together, man. Just chill out and enjoy the moment, all right? Terminal power. Okay, let's get some terminal power going. Look, dude, stop freaking out, all right? It's fine. It could be better, sure, but it could be worse as well. Remember that. Doesn't look like we've got any gribblies in here. Who hung him up anyway? How's it going over there, dude? Cool. Yeah, I don't understand how... Ooh. Oh, he's, he's lost his fucking mind. He has lost his mind. Right, let's get this done quick. I've locked the grenade launcher and a consignment of ammo in my office. Code 2622. There are a lot of trigger happy men around here. That uh, And that weapon could seriously compromise this structure if it falls into the wrong hands. Yeah, probably. Right, dude. Look, mate. I've got... Yeah, we've got some of this stuff. All right, should, should make you feel a little bit better. Let's get you away from the scary stuff. You good? Okay. Come on. Come on, dude. You, you can you can work out how to get out of a room, surely. No? Am I overestimating your skills? Quite possibly. All right. Well, whatever. 
Now, let's start going. Let's go back towards cold storage, I guess. And we're going to be scave, uh, scave. We're going to be safe scumming quite a lot here because, well, things aren't exactly going super smoothly at the moment. I'll feel a lot better when we get a medic. But I'd wager that won't be for some time. Well, actually, no, nah, that's probably not true. We'll probably find one eventually. Right, let's grab some more bullets. Yeah, there's no point breaking down and panicking, dude, because, you know, we're kind of shit out of luck anyway. So all you're going to accomplish by sitting in a corner and shitting your pants is uh, your rushed death. Whereas you could grow some kahunis and uh, we shall try not to die. Now I say try. Death is unfortunately all but guaranteed here. I don't want to upset you too much. Do it. But I'm just being real with you. Sorry if this causes you large quantities of distress. Uh oh. I think we got some gribbles. There you go, you see? You can kill them. Ooh. Okay, so there's actually a weapon there. Not 100% sure what weapon that is. I'm guessing that's a shotgun. Might be worth giving... Oof. I don't know if I want to give him a shotgun, I'll be honest. See, if we give him a shotgun, the problem is he will most likely at some point hit us in the back with it. But, you know what? Should we take the risk? Risk it for a biscuit. All right, give me your weapon. He wasn't that upset about that, to be honest. Right, I'll give you a little bit of ammo for it as well. Not a huge amount. Just enough to keep you going. And we'll grab that. And see if we can't grab... Okay, we've got, got a somewhat decent amount of shells. Unfortunately, the shotgun shells do deplete rather quickly. Okay. You know what? Now we've equipped him and set him up. Let's drop another save. Luckily, the saving doesn't take too long. Now... Let's keep exploring. Let's keep going. And hopefully, everything is going to be okay. Now, was this. Ooh! Evening. I shall certainly take the fire extinguisher. You right there, dude? You on your own? Okay, I think we're good. Okay, I don't know what those switches are that are on these. They don't actually... Aha! Get fucked. I don't know where these guys keep coming from. I think they come from, like, those little closed-off, like, elevator-type rooms. I'm not 100% sure. But they're not the friendliest bunch. Let's just say that. All right, come on, buddy. Let's go down. Ooh, ooh. I think you just detached one off my head. Cheers, pal. And this guy's a crack shot with that shotgun. I think we made the right call giving him, given him one. You all right over there, chief? <gasps> medkits. Oh, medkits. Ooh. I could kiss you. I could kiss you for that medkit. Right. What have we got in there? You alright, buddy? Do you want to patch that up? Security access. Now, that absolutely sounds like somewhere we want to go. Get on it, my man. Get on it. That's it. That's why we pay you. I don't know about the big bucks, but we pay you something. Ooh. Alright. So before we head through there. We got company. 
We certainly do have company, I guess. Right, let's be careful. Let's creep. We've got a lot of doors to check now. There's another save point there. Ooh, something's snowling and growling at us. Was that you, mate? Ah. Oh. Hello. See you hiding in there. Right, this looks like a... I don't want to say safe room, but... Well, you know. Surprised to come up against another save room so quick as well. Right, you just work on that, mate. You're a good lad. We going to take advantage of the save room. We're on 26 minutes here. Um, hmm. Right, we can't go through there. I'm guessing we can, like, let this guy out. Oh. Hmm. Right. Let's take this guy out because there might be stuff behind there. Come on, buddy. There we go. There we go. Was that worth it? Maybe. Yeah, I know you need health, dude. I know you need health. We're gonna we're gonna try and find some. Was this room worth breaking into? We got company. Yeah, we needed to. It's got a key. Leave that one alone, dude. Just, just leave it. Don't worry about it. You are really low on health, though, aren't you? I don't actually know how much health I have because apparently I can't check, which is questionable game design. Oh. Ah. Much better. So what's that? I've got another flashlight. Uh-oh. Was that, a, was that a bad noise? Ooh. That's the C4. And it sounds like we're about to get some gringos. Come on, you bastards. Let's do this. Yeah. Ooh. Things are getting a little bit interesting out there, aren't they? All right. Dude, have a med kit. How are we doing? We good? All right, sounds like it was just one guy that broke through. I'd love to know how much health we've got, but I, for some reason, cannot check because reasons. At least if there is a way of checking how much health we have, I don't know how to do it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to have to leave it there for this set. I hope you've enjoyed it. Man, you know, I've... <laughs> I've really enjoyed this game, to be honest. Uh, I know we've still got, you know, a decent chunk left, but uh, what an underrated gem so far, honestly. Anyway, guys, till next time.